There you go. Perfect. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. You're right? And it's just by shifting the way she stands. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you to let us this shoot is here. This is and I'm not sure uh, when it was commissioned or anything. I think it was made in the 50s. Yeah. I was told it's the very first big ferry of the fleet, but it's been here a long, long time, as you can tell. And how long has it been sitting here? Way too long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad it's still sitting here for us, I'll tell you that much. Yeah? And all these other boats are just collections? This is just a tugboat the old guy owns, and that green barge is a war hero. Really? The, the green barge with the crane on it was used, I was told, World War I, World War II, Korean War, Vietnam War, and any other wars they had in the South Pacific. Wow. And they were made to uh, lift seaplanes out of the water and patch bullet holes in them and get them back in the water again. So is this just kind of a ship graveyard? or? Well, people bring boats up, tie them up and walk away. And then the owner of the place buys pumps and puts pumps in them, and then people come along and unplug the pumps and they sink. <laughs> and then that seems to be the end of them. But it seems to happen an awful lot. That's crazy. This is epic. I'm so grateful I get to share this shoot with you guys. It was just an amazing time with a beautiful model in an absolutely glorious place. And it really gave me the opportunity to stretch some of my creative juices and try some different stuff, which I was really happy to be able to do. So I hope you guys enjoy this video as I wipe off my $3,000 lens and with my shirt and uh, get ready for some fun stuff. Here's just some footage of uh, Maddie stretching out and get ready for the shoot. She's quite a character. You're going to see what I'm talking about here. No Phantom Bride shoot would be complete without a little singing from the bride. All right, you guys have had the opportunity to both shoot privately. So now I'm gonna show you a little bit, a little something something with this little senorita. So for those wondering what this was, this was a private training session with me and two other folks uh, near Vancouver, Canada. And uh, when I have smaller groups like this, it enables me to be able to go to some different locations like you see here. So first they shoot and then they observe what I do. And then when they're shooting, I observe what they do and help them and critique them so they get better. Um, come this way for me, hon. Anthony, you're going to stand right back there. The light. This was day two of training. On day one, we do a lot of instruction. On day two, it's a lot of shooting. And I didn't share their shooting sessions only because that's their private stuff. But uh, I'm going to share what I did. And believe me, they shot a lot. Come here, sister. <laughs> <laughs> You've been plotting. Yes, we're going to wrap you up. I'm going to come up, change the angle, change the direction of the light a little bit. Cross your feet over for me. There you go. Bring those heels together. Fantastic. I love it. Now I want you to think of yourself as like a little um, doll. There you go. I love it. Did you see how she changed? Right? You got to, all of a sudden now she's gone into complete doll mode. So, and I love that. So what I'm trying to convey to you guys is you have to give them wow that's unbelievable i want you to pretend like you're a a, a doll but you're broken 
There we go. Perfect. One. <laughs> Man. Eyes to me. One, two, three. I'm thinking about every shot. I'm not rushing through this. I want to make sure I get fantastic shots, not mediocre shots. She's method acting. She's staying in character. She's still broken. I love it. You're going to lean against this because you're really running down on the energy. The light needs to come up and down right here. One. Twist that. Uh, yeah, there you go. Now look that way. I love that. Bring the light right here. See, when you're actually really shooting, the light's going to constantly change. One, two, three. Eyes to me, honey. Pull the, the cable out. That's what it's called. It's not a rope or anything. It's a cable. Do we have visibility through this window here? Yeah. Tri Go inside of there and drop the light in from there. You're doing awesome. Seriously, you're rocking it, sister. Go back just a little bit. Okay, now you're tangled up and you're pissed off at me. You've made me, made, I've made you do this shoot. One, two, three. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Sweetie, come this way. Bring your feet, just, there you go, right there. Beautiful. Cross your feet, now you're angry, so cross your feet over. There you go, now just look at me. You're. You're not scared, you're not, you're, you're pissed off, you're looking right at me. One, two, three. Look towards the light, you're disgusted with me. I'm a piece of crap. One, two, three. <laughs> High fives. For this next set, we hid the light behind the wall and shot it through the window to create some really dramatic shots without the light being there. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. These are some different kind of looking shots for me and I'm really proud of them and uh, hope you guys like them. Um, it's a different look. Um, has some of my style to it, but it's a little different and I think it's good to mix up your style and good to try new things and I'm really happy with how these turned out and I hope you guys feel the same way. This image here is so soft and beautiful. It reminded me of a of a ballerina. Shooting it through that window is also, if you watch, it's given us a second layer of diffusion. It's almost like this was a whole set on watching a Phantom Bride ballerina dance. Turn your, Maddie, just remember, sweetie, the light is over there. There you go. Perfect. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that was amazing. You're right. And it's just by shifting the way she stands. I definitely felt like this shoot was more of an artistic shoot. Uh, it felt like I was creating something magical and different and uh, not just a sexy girl or a sexy outfit, but something artistic and different, a, more of a painting. And uh, I was just really thrilled with how this turned out and really can't thank the model enough. She did a tremendous job. She helped me to create this. What I wanna do, uh, Maddie, is, honey, I want you to go up on your toes like you're doing a pirouette. And I want the, the arms up like you had before. Yeah, you're the phantom bride who got killed on the ship. Let's get that right arm back just a little bit. That way we don't block the light. One, two, three. So try to go, That's two, ridiculous. Two, oh my God. Three. <laughs> Guys, never be afraid to take risks. Never be afraid to try something new. Never be afraid to be who and what you really want to be. Go be you. See how she keeps resetting herself now that I've told her about the light? Yeah. Do that again, Maddie. No, bring your hand down, honey. Yep. One. At some point in every artist's career, they have to ask themselves, what do they want to be remembered for? And this is the kind of stuff I would love to be remembered for. What I'm going to do is put this in manual focus. So I, yeah, I'm gonna put this in manual focus because it's gonna focus on the film on the wall and she'll be out of focus. I'm gonna turn focus peaking on. Do you know what focus peaking is? I saw, I saw it, yeah, happening. 
So see there, it's gonna, we're gonna get a focus point on her. And it's crazy, just, doesn't that look fake? That's amazing. <laughs> she looks just, and that's kind of the point I was trying to make earlier. It's just like, if, if you don't slow down, these are the things that you just absolutely miss. All right, now we're gonna do, do a set with her in the boat. We'll have Gina start this one. I'm a big believer in props, outfits, everything. The model Maddie put this whole outfit together, which was amazing. And then when you grab the oars and the boat and everything else and you bring it into your shot, it makes it so much more authentic, guys. Put your, plant your right foot, but then take your left foot and put it on the other side of the oar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, that's a Santa Maria Guadalupe. <laughs> now you're gonna take, put your left hand on, on that part. Fantastic. Yeah, you go, lean towards me. The, yeah, I love that. One. Yeah, one, two, three. Hey, we got it. Ooh, it's really good. All right, yeah, come on down here, Anthony. Sit in the middle of that boat for me. Actually, no, we'll shoot it from up there. Let's, let's try it from up there. Perfect, bring, bring the left leg, cross the leg over. No, not like that. Leave the foot where it is, now cross that knee down. Perfect, just like that. Oh, I love that, that's gorgeous. One. What are you shooting 35, one, four. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, but reposition you on this side, because I want, instead of this as a background, I want this as a background. So this is what I'm talking about with exhausting a, a scenario, is I like the pose, I like the shot, I like everything about it, but switching her from this, I get greenery and I get the shore, now we could be out in the middle of the ocean. This is why I love a pistol grip for a tripod uh, head. It makes it so easy to just position it. I tried to lift this up and it fell apart in my hands. Really? Yeah, am I crazy? Look. Oh, listen. That Here. Yeah, look, see? It just falls apart, it's crazy. How's your health insurance? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm in the parts of the Caribbean when it does this. I know, right? We're good as long as this boat doesn't go over. Now this is when I ask myself, Jason, what is it that exactly that you're trying to get? Because it's an epic shot, you want to make sure you get it, right? So pay attention to the feet, pay attention to the distortion, pay attention to the angle at which you're shooting the shot. Bring your left knee, cross it over. Yeah, now bring it up to your body. Yeah, ooh, see if you can get it in that little loop thing there. This is actually how I shoot. It's, it, I, it's methodical, I think it through. I think the moment we really find ourselves as artists is when we start listening to ourselves, is when we start doing what our heart is telling us to do. Mentors, instructors, teachers, critics are so important to help us improve and get better. But when we really find ourselves as an artist is when we listen to ourselves. Beautiful, let's change the outfit and do a different location. All right, come over here, Miss, Miss uh, Maddie. So how was the shoot, Miss Maddie? Uh, it was different from any other shoot I've done. It was <laughs> dirty and angelic and um, captivating. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had someone use all those words to describe just one shoot. Dirty, no, dirty, angelic and captivating. I'm glad you liked it. So is that is that a description of 
of the wardrobe of you or of the shoot? Uh, I think of the shoot. Perfect. Yeah. How would you describe yourself? And myself as a person? No, no, no. As in, <laughs> as in the shoot. Uh, in the shoot, um, innocent, forlorn, um, and wayward. <laughs> I love she is awesome so anyways that's wonderful that's wonderful so we have a train going by an abandoned ferry thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it Maddie you are just ridiculously awesome you. you did an amazing you. job you guys can follow this beautiful young lady at La Luneta so until next time guys keep shooting never give up on your dreams find our gear that works for you and remember you only have one chance to get it right <laughs> She's awesome. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. It's like the old star tours at uh, Disneyland. If you guys ever went to that, the, the lady would come on and go, bye-bye. <laughs> talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, tell us if you like her. I'm sure you do. She's amazing. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh. All right. Oh. <laughs> Let's go change outfits and uh, do something else. Yeah, that was you guys still here? Hello? Talking to you. Hey guys, if you want to learn online with me, go to patreon.com slash Photography, and you will be able to continue this craziness online from anywhere on planet Earth with me. If you want to join me live, go to jasonlinear.com slash workshops, and you'll get to see me in my full glory live and in person, guys. I think there's a smudge on there. Yeah, I got it. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. Now come and uh, sit on this middle, or sit on this one. This one is more sturdy. Now I have the knees going this way and the, uh, the arms and head going that way to give balance to the shot. Make sense? And now if you look at the symmetry between her legs and the oar, it's all lining up. One, two, three. Now we're going to put it where it's on both shoulders. Look up to the light. One, two, three, look at me.